day one of the Overland track and we are at Waterfall Valley Hut and as you can see it's absolutely amazing. Mm -hmm. um, we left at um, 9 o'clock this morning and it's now 6pm. There's a wallaby next to our tent. Having a, having a grand old time. We're about to cook dinner. Today we summited Cradle Mount, which was quite a quite a task. And about to have dinner. There's Barn Bluff in the background. There's me. Hey. A absolutely beautiful, picturesque campsite. And there's little Mr. Wallaby. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Wallaby. <laughs> Day two of the Overland track, and we are at Windermere Hut Campground and um, have been encountering some of the local wildlife. For dinner tonight, we are having pasta. How's the sauce going? Sauce? With the lid. That's my sauce rehydrating. Um, today we walked a total of about nine kilometers, seven kilometers on the main track, plus two kilometers side trip to Lake Will, where we had a long leisurely lunch and swim on the beach. So this is day two. See you tomorrow. We are on day three of the Overland track. the looming and spectacular Mount Ossa, which is Tasmania's highest mountain. Today is our longest walk. We're walking about 17 kilometers, which should take about six hours. There's Barn Bluff. Oh, and Dave. Dave, you're blocking Barn Bluff. So we left Barn Bluff behind. Only a little one. Let's give him some time to get away. Where's he going? We follow him? Oh, don't leave him out of your sight. Don't know about following him. I want to get too close, don't I? Oh, he's back on the middle Where of the track. Tiger snake? How he's do you know? He's got a yellow belly. Oh, he's gone. I'm pretty sure that was a tiger snake. I'll confer with my book tonight. He said there was two types. He said one of them will run away as soon as they see you. Maybe, so maybe that was that one. But I saw yellow under his belly. You still filming? I sound like an idiot. Stop it! <laughs> this is the spider that crawled inside Nicole's gator. Uh, and uh, it was quite a scene, let me tell you. She even fell over with a full back on and she was uh, laughing and crying simultaneously which is uh, unusual, it's, it's a pretty good size. Anyway, <laughs> and then I had to help to get a gator off and somehow it crawled onto me, I think. Anyway, it's a bit stunned at the moment. You gonna move? Enough stress. Alright. Bye, Spidey. Day four. Overland track.
Here we are at Pelion Gap and we're about to climb Mount Ossa, Tassie's biggest peak. About to commence day five of the Overline Track. And here we are at Kia Ora Hut. And probably definitely my favourite campsite so far. Went for a nice cold ice bath in the river last night. And there is Dave. Last night he got a hole in his sleeping mat. He's been down to the river to find the leak and now he's attempting to repair it. How are you going? Well, I think we'll be okay. Too little to tell. Got a small hole and I've got a big patch. Okay, and we're on uh, day five of the walk at Harnett Falls, and uh, there's Nicole enjoying a bit of a swim, had a bit of a dip before. So we're getting to uh, freshen up a little bit more than we expected, which is pretty good. This is uh, day five of the walk. We're at Harnett Falls, and uh, there's Nicole enjoying a bit of a swim. So we're getting to cool off a little bit more than more often than we expected, which is pretty cool. Absolutely gorgeous. Good morning, Mr. Caterpillar. Good morning, Dave. Good morning. Blurry. That's blurry. Blurry. Morning number six, five. 
I've lost count. Day six of the Overland Track, and we are at the spectacular, spectacular Echo Point. And there's just us and four other lady campers here. Dave's pretending to cook. What's for dinner tonight? Briani. Not too bad. Last of our dehydrated meals. Tomorrow we will reach Cynthia Bay and we'll have our first real meal. And we're about to go for a dip. Yep. Day seven, almost at the end and walking through Carpet of ferns. <laughs> In the wet. First rain we've seen for the whole trip. There is a trek under here. <laughs> 